Welcome back to character modeling. We've completed the upper part of our character, his shirt and tie with the pockets, and we're going to move on to the pants now. Let's come out here and take a look at our guy and his kind of funky pants that he has on. And typically I start things off with a cube. I think in this instance, um, just because he's so cylindrical around his belly here, we're going to go ahead and start off with a cylinder and be a little bit easier to shape around his belly. And I have dropped a cylinder out here on my desktop. I can just delete that and show you how I did that. It's under Create Polygon Primitives. I turned off Interactive Creation, held down Control and Shift, and just clicked on Cylinder. And it uh, dropped it out here on my shelf, and I just middle mouse, grab that and drag it down here next to my other geometry. And I can click on that now, and it's going to drop one down here in the origin where I want it. So let's drag that up into place. Scale it a little bit. About like that. And we're not going to need 20 subdivisions around here, so let's go over here and click on the poly cylinder 1 subdivision axis. We can click on that and then middle mouse, just start dragging down. And I want to make sure we've got a center line here and enough geometry to work with. So I think 8 will work for us. Anything lower than that, we're really not going to have enough to kind of shape out what we need. All right, and we need to get rid of these end caps here. So we'll just put in zero. Let's isolate this for a moment. So under Show, Isolate Selection, we can delete this top face here. So just select it and delete it. We need the bottom one. So back to Object Mode, click on here, and deselect that. Okay, let's go ahead and quad this off. We're just going to draw in a couple split polygons. So just crisscrossing there. Okay, so these are going to be our legs eventually once we get it kind of shaped up a little bit more. Let's come to the side view and move this into place. And we'll grab the top row of vertices with the marquee, hit E on the keyboard, angle that a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to drag marquees around the vertices and following the shape of his belly. Let's move those around. And this back point here is going to be drug all the way up here to the kind of high point on his buttocks. This next one here is going to be the beginning of his leg and the back side. This will be the center of his thigh, kind of going down the side here. This will be the front of his leg, about there. All right. So this is very blocky looking, uh, very basic, and that's kind of how you want to work with polygons. Kind of the least amount of subdivisions as you can get away with. Let's come out here and check him in the front. I'm scaling these out here. I don't have reflection on, so I just grab both sides, pulling them up into place. Same thing here. Those are the ones on the back. Okay, and we can grab these two front ones, kind of angle them up a little bit. Scale them in a little bit as well. Starting to line these up down the center of the thigh. Okay, and these can be brought in just a little bit as well. Okay, so we've got that angle there. All right, let's take a look at the bottom now. So this is going to be the leg that we extrude from. And we can stand to kind of round this out just a little bit more. So let's go ahead and grab these, move them up. 
It's going to kind of flatten out his belly in the front a little bit. And we can do the same in the back with these four points. All right. That looks a little better. Okay. So this point's coming up very high right now. Uh, let's go ahead and just grab these two points here and pull them up just a little bit. We'll come back and reshape this area once we get some more subdivisions in here. But for now, let's go ahead and grab the two faces on the bottom here and extrude those once. And let's activate scale by clicking on it and scaling it in and then dragging it over to the side and pulling it down just a little bit. Okay, if we come to our front view, let's go ahead and kind of line that up a little bit better. And we can go ahead and scale it. I just hit R on the keyboard to do that. Okay, and I think we need to just kind of work with a few of these vertices here. Kind of reposition them. I want to keep this line going straight down the front of the leg. So it was off to the side here. I just drug it to the middle. This one, I'm going to pull in a little bit more as well. Let's come out here and take a look at it. All right. And let's round out the leg a little more by kind of adjusting this over. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's grab our faces again. Extrude that. Let's come back to our front view. I'm going to click on here to put it into world space and start bringing it down, scaling it in, pulling it over. And you can see it's following the shape of the leg. You can see a little bit better from here. We've got that kind of high point back here. So what I'd like to do is just grab the scale in Y and start dragging that down to center. You can see it flatten out right there. So I'm not going to completely flatten it. I'm going to bring it down to about here. Okay, move it forward. We'll come back and insert edge loops here. Kind of readjust a little bit. Okay, let's look at it from our front view. It's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and extrude again. Come to our front. We're going to center it on there in world space. I'm going to drag it all the way down here to the top part of the knee. We can scale it in. Pull it out just a little bit. Let's check our side. Side needs to be scaled, so I'm scaling in Z now. Pulling it forward. And we've got that angle here again happening, so let's straighten that out by pulling the scale down to the center in Y. Bring it to about there. All right. Let's hit extrude again for the knee. Here's our knee area right there. We can kind of angle that back just a little bit. Check it from the front kind of angles over slightly. Come back to our side view. Let's extrude again. Go to world space and we'll drag it down to about here. Activate scale. We're going to scale it uniformly. And we can actually bring this point up here. We've got kind of a uh, an angle here that we should address. So let's scale that back down. And we'll probably have to insert another edge loop to get that angle right there. That's the one that's happening right here as well. So we can kind of pull this over, scale it up a little bit. Okay. And let's go ahead and hit extrude again. Go to world space. I'm going to drop it down about halfway. Scale it up. Check it from our side view. It needs to get pushed back a little bit. There we go. And we could probably pull it up just a little bit. And this is our last extrude. 
Go to world space, drag it down to here, scale it up. Let's come to our side view. And that looks pretty good. We can flare it out just a little bit more. Q on the keyboard to end that process. And we're going to grab the vertices, hit E on the keyboard, and we're just going to rotate this to get that kind of angle there. And kind of pull that up into place right about there. Okay, so we'll come back and I think we can probably scale this out just a little more. There we go. We'll come back and add another edge loop in there to get that cuff a little bit later on. But let's come out here and kind of take a look at everything. So this whole group right here, I just drug a marquee around it. I'm going to kind of pull this up just a little bit higher. Right about there. And we can start to kind of take a look at some of the geometry. I'm going to drag a marquee around all of these and angle them down a little bit. These need to get pushed back. About here. Angle that back as well. This point could probably come up a little bit higher. And these I'm going to, I'm going to pull these forward just a little bit. And this one back, I'm trying to I've kind of watched my edge flow right here. Same thing here. And this could come up just a little more. Okay, pulling that back. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's come out here and take a look at it in our perspective view up a little. All right. So still very blocky. We're going to have to definitely add some some edge loops in here. If we hit three on the keyboard, we can kind of get an idea of the initial shape. Uh, we can also get rid of these faces here on the bottom. So just go ahead and select those two faces and delete them. Okay, so this is looking pretty good just for a very rough start on the pants. Let's go ahead and come back to one on the keyboard, object mode, and let's just go ahead and delete the faces on the other side. Just drag a marquee around there, and we'll come back to our front view. Everything looks like it's lining up pretty well, and I think if we just select that, come under mesh, mirror over in negative X, we can get kind of a little bit better idea of what our guy looks like. So three on the keyboard, kind of take a look at things. All right, so we're going to need some edge loops around here, as well as the, the top part of the thigh, and we'll have to shape out the knee a little bit more, but for uh, just blocking out the basic pants. I think we can end that right there and then we'll come back and start adding some detail in the next couple of lessons.